just don't understand. I don't understand what I did to deserve all of their torment, all the trauma, the word, and the slang that's been thrown my way. I just, I don't understand. How can one understand this when you've done nothing wrong? They make the personal attacks, the ones that get your heart in twist. I had friends. I had ones that would try to stick up for me. They said that I was changing, so they said I had a problem. So I said, fine, I'll find new one. There's more fish in the sea. I found some new ones. They had the same problem with me. I was different. I was a little out there. I didn't always want to go do something. I didn't always want to go hang out. I don't understand what's wrong with me. They make it feel like it's me. I hope it's them, but it's me. I know it's me. You try to find someone that you talk to. You try to open up your heart to anyone who will listen. And they think you're weird because you said something that they're not comfortable with. Did anyone take the time to think about what I was going through? I don't understand. I don't understand what I did. I don't understand why they can't see I have to go home to an abusive stepmother. They don't know what I go through. The names don't stop. My home life doesn't stop. School doesn't stop. I just want it to stop. I can't do it anymore. There's there's no reason to go to school every day and feel this way and be tormented. I'm done. I'm done playing games. I'm done being the victim. I'm not doing that anymore. Today, I'm saying no more. Today I'm saying no more, no more. No more, no more, no more, no more, no more. That's right, class. In a time like this, we all need to be here to support one another. I will be in my office if any of you need to talk. Thank you, Mrs. Williams. Is there anything anyone feels they need to say? Get off their chest. No? All right. Then let's take out our books for some silence. You know none of you were nice to him. You couldn't just leave him alone, could you? Now, I know we're upset. But He's in that bed fighting for his life because the way some people in this room made him feel, and that's just not right. Are you serious? You're going to sit there and point fingers? You never stood up for him. Now you sat there just like the rest of us, and now you're going to point fingers, really? Now is not the time to be pointing fingers and accusing. In a time like this, we need to look back it on our It always happens in other schools, in other towns. We just don't even think it exists because it's never affected us before. Well, at least I'm not sitting here acting 
seem like I feel bad when I was the one who pushed him to kill himself. I think you may want to go talk to Mrs. Williams. All right, I was the one. <laughs> I was the one who pushed him around and called him names. That's just what guys do. I didn't actually think he was going to kill himself. We never know if you feel anything. You surely don't act. You don't think I'm sorry? Sit down. It wasn't just you. It was all of us. He talked to me every day, but I never took the time. I never gave him my time. Maybe that's all he needed. How would we have known if he needed help? I know that he hated all the teasing, but I never thought it'd lead to something like this. We all could have done Maybe we all could have done better. And maybe if or when Brendan comes back, we can tell him how we feel. But I wouldn't give to tell him how sorry I am. Megan Yacht. Here. Sophie. Here. Megan Pintar. Here. Chaz. Here. Haley. Here. Sam. Here. Christine. Here. Carter. Here. Lindsay. Here. Brendan. Brendan. I just don't understand. I, I'm the reason he. No matter what anybody says, it's always going to be my fault. I'm the one who he feared. I'm the one who tormented him. Please, Brendan, please don't die. Just come back. I don't think I can live with the pain or the guilt of knowing that I made you take your life. Please, please. I'm not this heartless animal that everyone thinks I am. Please. 